a short reading of a passage which so deeply impressed me when I was about 16 years of age that the impression has never left me and it helped to set the foundation and direction and ambition and purpose of my life and that was 60 years ago. The book is The Romance of Primitive Methodism written by Joseph Ritson and published in 1911. I'm going to read from page 129 to 131. Scarcely second to John Ride in the toils and triumphs of those years was Thomas Russell. Though not so highly gifted as some, he possessed the well-knit frame, the fiery zeal and untiring devotion of the pioneers. He could meet persecution of the most brutal kind with a dauntless bearing, and sometimes a rare dignity, where dignity is so difficult to compass. His too was the British pluck and courage which never knows when it is defeated. Few of the pioneers met with such determined opposition, or witnessed such success. Called out to travel at 23, he was sent the following year to Brinkworth as the colleague of John Ride. Soon after this, the Berkshire Mission was opened, and for five months, not a single society was formed. Appointed definitely to this mission in September 1829, Thomas Russell began the work that was to be attended with such hardship and suffering and to issue in such brilliant success. He was sometimes reduced to feeding on wild nuts and berries. It was in the following February that he and his superintendent had the memorable meeting in the neighbourhood of Ashdown, where the famous battle was fought. Theirs, however, was a spiritual conflict. Russell had walked ten miles to this meeting for consultation and prayer. The conference was drawing to a close, and they were about to part, when it was proposed that they should turn aside into the coppice for another round of prayer. Entering the coppice, they threw themselves on their knees amid the snow and pleaded with God to give them Berkshire. The round of prayer lasted for hours, and at last Russell sprang to his feet, exclaiming, as he pointed across the country, the prospect of which was bounded by the Hampshire hills, Yonder country is ours, yonder country is ours and we will have it. Up to that time everything had been dark, but now a brighter day dawned. One day the young missionary was 18 hours on his feet and travelled 35 miles, preaching, or trying to preach, for he met with the most brutal persecution in three different villages, four times. But at the end of three years, there were nearly 1,300 members in that circuit.